1986. He was about 10 years younger than I am now. <laughs> and um, he was at Sentinel. I was a research fellow, as, as he said. And if you don't know medicine, there's one thing lower, or I should put it this way, the lowest life form in the medical world isn't the intern. It's a research fellow. I was a research fellow at Martin Luther King Hospital. And um, they had a salary and a position that they didn't have anyone doing research, so I ended up with Dr. Joe and Perlin doing research. And somehow, Dr. Gore wandered down to the lab and he found out that I didn't have enough work to do. I became a Gore research fellow and that's continued for the rest of my career. I'm going to tell a couple of secrets. This is my job to tell you something about Dr. Gore that maybe no one else can tell. Um, the first thing is, I'll tell Dr. Gore a secret. One of the ways I got him to like you, <laughs> every night, as a research fellow, he would say, till 8, 9, or 10 at night, and every night he'd say, William, you can take off now. Your work is done. And I can tell you, I never left before he left. <laughs> I don't know if you that. I'll always turn you down. Number two, I didn't know the answer. I would always tell him I didn't know the answer. I wouldn't give him, you know, those two letters. No BS. I know, um, sorry, excuse me. But that's wasting his time. He had a million things he was working on at the time. He was becoming the founding editor of some of the most important journals that exist today. This was 10 years before Operation Wall. He was trying to become great in a world that said if you weren't part of a university, you couldn't be boss. You had to be part of a university. We were at Sentinel Hospital in Inglewood, California. <laughs> but from that time, uh, somehow, he saw something in me and brought me into the bowl. And over all those years, I got to see certain things that nobody sees. So I'll tell you, there's a, a mistake with the video I'm going to introduce. They told you to put six words. That was a mistake. It's a 20 minute video. <laughs> if they said three words, people would talk too much. But I'm going to give my three words um, that describe it best. So, what did I give you that's useful? First, you know, what's the secret to his success? First secret that I think is a secret. Um, the first word is passion. Everything that he does starts with passion. It's not for money. It's not for fame. It's not to be first. It starts with something that I don't know if it came from his parents, um, your childhood, but something in within. And if you guys want to get rich and famous and be known and respected, you can do a lot of things, but if you don't have passion, I don't believe you're ever going to get there. So that's my first word. Um, second word, imaginative. Um, Einstein, I'm paraphrasing it, more powerful than knowledge. Imagination. He sees things that aren't there, he pictures them, and he believes they're going to happen every time. And then he will work until they happen. Because he believes if he keeps working, they're going to happen. And the third word is the last thing before I introduce the video. And it has everything to do with Operation Law. Humanitarian. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Doris, the English major, there may be a specific definition that isn't the same as mine. <laughs> but he pours all that passion, all that imagination, into doing things for others, even at his own expense. And that's why we're here, and that's why we love Dr. Gore. <laughs> <laughs> so, with that, um, I believe I'm 
folks introduce the video, is that correct? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so let's just give Dr. Doar a hand and it's going to be 20 minutes.